Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, with the release of Int Kid Buu's Extreme Z Awakening on Global, we now have access to what I would consider the optimal Majin Power team. So in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick showcase of that team on the Infinite Dragon Ball History event, specifically the Majin Buu Saga stage of Infinite Dragon Ball History. So it's going to be Buu versus Buu. Now, one slightly controversial exclusion from this team might be the AGL Fit Boo, who is amazing, but he does have a limit, a turn limit on his passive, right? And since this is one of the longest events in the game, which usually runs for more than seven turns, I feel like he wouldn't have been as good of a fit here, you know? Anyways, there's the team. And before we get into it, I do want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Madara Account. They offer stacked global and JP accounts with thousands of stones and many top tier units for extremely reasonable prices. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then feel free to check out their website in my description down below. And if you find something you like, you can use my discount code TIGER for 20% off your entire purchase. Okay, so yeah, with all that said, let's jump in here and get this run started. Boo versus Boo, let's see what happens. Okay, we're in. And on the first rotation, we got the Bukalo. We got the Fizz, Boo Tanks, and also Exchange Boo. So I think I'm going to, hmm, you know what? Let's leave Bukolo where he is, and uh, we'll leave him together with the Wuhan. I think I'm gonna float. I think I'm gonna float the Exchange Boo. I mean, as much as I like that unit, um, I just feel like he's not amazing. Okay, look. I don't want to jump on the hate bandwagon for that unit because like a lot of people are very, very low on the exchange boo. And I don't think he's nearly as bad as a lot of people make him out to be. But he doesn't overly impress me in any way. Like his damage is good. It's, it's okay, but it's not crazy. His tanking is solid, but he also doesn't get any like extra defense. It's just the damage reduction. So uh, yeah, he doesn't really blow me away in any area and i think that's the reason why nobody is like yo this guy's awesome this guy's busted because he's just like a good unit but being a good unit alone is not gonna really impress anybody at this point you know anyways um let's keep the int kid boot in rotation for sure since i want to highlight him as the uh new unit on global right so let's see what kind of damage and tanking we can get out of him here Okay, so taking 41 damage for the first hit, pretty good so far. Getting supered, this might uh, hurt a little bit. Ooh, yeah, it does. That that hurt quite a bit. Although the attack stat is almost 4 million. That's a huge upgrade, man. That is a huge upgrade. Pre-Extreme Z Awakening, I'm pretty sure it was hitting around like 2.5 or so, which is still good. Like, the Int Kid Boo always hit hard. But he hits way harder now with the Extreme Z Awakening. And he actually has some defense, right? Like compared to before where he had no defense whatsoever. Okay, so yeah, we'll finish things off. You know what? I'm actually going to let the Boo Tanks attack just so we can build up some more defense for him. Uh, he currently has, let's see, 219,000. So even if we stopped building any defense, um, he would still be okay. Like he'd still be just tanky enough for this event. But uh, obviously, the more defense, the better. It never hurts to have more defense. So, yeah, we'll let him super here. Should finish off the uh, fat boo. There we go. Okay. So, first enemy out of the way. Stage 2. We do get the exchange into evil boo here. And this guy has some of my favorite animations. For sure. Especially when you um, pop the active skill and transform into super boo. Like, that's got to be in my top 5 animations easily. Now, I didn't realize we were actually also facing Evil Boo. So now we got Evil Boo versus Evil Boo. Um, I'm still gonna float him though. Let's see how much defense we have here. Okay, 89,000 for the Kid Boo, or almost 90,000 actually. Uh, 94k for Buff Boo and 53k for Evil Boo. But he does of course have the damage reduction, so we don't really have to worry about anybody here. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely leave Kid Boo in the front because he has that type disadvantage and uh, give a few orbs to everybody else and we should be good please don't super me in the beginning thank you 22k there yeah i mean 
yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, but I definitely wouldn't want him to take any, um, you know, supers or anything like that in Super Battle Road, for example. Yeah, as you can see, as you can see, the buff boo, definitely significantly tankier. 55k for a super is actually not bad. And there is my evil boo, 2.3 mil, good damage. But once again, it's not really blowing anybody away, right? Nobody's gonna be like, oh my god, he hits so hard. Even as super boo, he's usually getting around, I would say like 3 to 3.5, which is still good, but not crazy. And, you know, these days, if you're not getting like 3.5 to 4 million on the first turn, you're basically trash. <laughs> I mean, obviously that's an exaggeration, but people just have like really high expectations of units these days. Okay, so I could pop, I could pop the active skill now for both these guys and get us a Buhan, but do I really want to is the question. Or maybe I want one Buhan and still keep the other one as Boo Tanks. Um, you know what, let's give them a few more turns. Yeah, I want both of them to stack up a little bit more. Um, so yeah. Let's just leave it for now. We'll get double boo tanks, or rather double boo hans, later on in the event and just roll through everything. I mean, boo tank still hits pretty damn hard though. I mean, over 4 mil is still very good. Uh, boo han, of course, hits even harder. But yeah, if you want to just leave him as boo tanks the entire time, like, there's nothing wrong with that. So we're on super boo now. He's still fizz. So kid boo might have some trouble. Um, we'll still leave him where he is. And I love how, you know, with the key support, everybody's basically getting supers guaranteed every single turn. I mean, it's nice. It's nice for a change, you know, to like not have to worry about key with uh, the Majin Power team. I mean, it wasn't a huge deal either way, right? Like we had key plus four leader skills, but when you have key plus eight, sometimes you still can't get everybody supers. But with the support now from Kid Boo. Um, yeah, we're basically getting supers every turn, which is awesome. Our Fat Boo is building up a little bit. I think he is maxed out now after taking those hits. And we can also pop this active skill, so let's do it. Yo, one of my favorite animations, like I said, in this game right now. It's just great, man. <laughs> it's the close-up that gets me. It's that face, it's the evil Boo face that gets me. Okay, so there is our Super Boo. Of course, his defense is still not the most impressive, 80,949, but he has 50%, 50% damage reduction. So, yeah, he will be fine. Let's, you know what, let's, mm, okay, let's do it. We'll pop the Boo Tanks active skill too, get us a Boo Han. And you know what, at this point, I don't think defense will be an issue. We could have given him even more defense, obviously but I don't think it's necessary. There we go. Okay, so now we have Boo Tanks, or sorry, Boo Han. I keep getting those mixed up. There are too many forms of Boo on this team. My bad, guys. Okay, so now we have the Boo Han and also our Super Boo, and he has 363,000 defense. Um, yeah, look at that Boo Kolo, also pretty tanky, 158k. So yeah, everybody's getting supers. Everybody's good to go. Let's see what Buhan can do for us here. Over five mil. All right, all right, I like it. I like it. And a nice crit too, additional as well. Yo, <laughs> this is why I always say, this is why I always say, he is literally one of, oh, another crit. Um, he's literally one of the best units in the game. It's not even a question to me. Him, obviously the STR, Goku and Vegeta, you know, Super Vegito is also up there. Um, but like those two are still right now, I would say like top three units in the game. I personally think that STR Vegito is number one. You know, we can go back and forth about this, but I don't think anybody can deny that they are some of the best units in the game easily. Okay, so I really don't want to put um, Boo there. Yeah, I'm just really scared about his defense. I mean, like, it's not terrible, but it's not great either. Uh, we could just put Wuhan there, right? Even with the type disadvantage. Actually, you know what? He hasn't stacked up enough. Never mind. Uh, I'm going to actually leave... I'm gonna leave Buff Boo there. He has the damage reduction, right? He has the 20%. So the worst that's gonna happen is we take 
you know, some damage, but there's no chance we'll die, right? <laughs> of maybe, we'll see. Uh, yeah, 131. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I was worried for nothing. A solid 3 million attack stat. Nice crit as well. And tanking all normals for double to triple digit damage. All right, there we go. Kid Buu again. 4 million. Yeah, so even though Kid Buu has some defense now, I still would not rely on his defense. I think that's the main takeaway here. He has much more defense than he used to. Right, he used to have no defense whatsoever. So now he has some defense, he hits even harder, like he hits really, really hard, but you generally still want to keep him away from, you know, enemy attacks as much as possible. Definitely don't put him in front of like multiple attacks in Super Battle Road or, you know, the legendary Goku event and so on and so forth if you can avoid it, right? Now, of course, with Boo Tanks here, or sorry, Boo Han, um, he does have type disadvantage, but he's just so tanky, he has so much defense that it really doesn't matter. And we might just kill, oh, never mind. If we got a crit, we would have killed him. There's the additional, once again. This man's been getting double supers like every turn. It's awesome. And yo, great animations as well. You know what, it was really hard to not put his animations in the top 10 animations of 2020. If you guys missed the video, feel free to go check it out. It's the uh, you know, somewhere above my head right now, the link. But uh, yeah, I made that video a couple weeks ago and it was just like really hard to not put him in there. He was an honorable mention. I almost put him as the number 10 or number nine, but there were just so many great animations last year that he didn't quite make the cut for me. But um, I think for a lot of people, he would make that list because those animations are dope as hell. Um, okay, so tough decision here. Tough decision on this turn. I still don't want to use an item yet. I might have to at some point, but I don't want to use it now. So do we keep the Kid Buu in rotation or do we take him out in favor of the Tech Super Buu? Oh, you know what? I'ma leave Super Buu there, man. I'ma leave Super Buu. As much as I love Kid Buu, I just, I don't wanna risk it. I don't wanna risk getting supered, but he heals us a lot though. So we're gonna miss that. Like, like yeah, losing that's gonna really suck. Okay, so Super Buu getting about 3 million, just under 3 million. Of course, he's not like leveled up. His Link levels, I believe, are like in the 2s and 3s. So he could definitely be a lot more impressive. But that being said, you can probably see why many people aren't too high on him, right? So now we have Buu Tanks and Buu Han together. Let's actually keep this rotation. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna put Boo Han first, so we can get all those orbs for the Boo Tanks, and we'll float the Bukalo for the time being, or probably for the rest of the event actually. And we should get through the enemy Bukalo quite quickly, since we got you know the Fizz LRs, and he is int, so he's not really gonna stand a chance here. That's about a quarter of his HP right there. Additional once again. Yo, how much additional does this friend Boo, Boo Tanks have? It's gotta be, it's gotta be a lot. I mean, I know that he gets the additional on his passive. He does, right? I think it's a medium chance for additional. I could be wrong, let me check, let me check. I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna be wrong there and sound stupid. So I'm gonna stop talking about that until I can check in a second. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, he does have the additional chance on his passive. But some of those additionals must have been from the hidden potential system. So yeah, let me check this friend Boo Tanks here. He's been additionaling like every turn. Uh, no, that's mine. Uh, there is, where's the friend? Oh, there's the friend. Okay, so he has level 11 additional. And uh, yes, he does have a medium chance for an additional super. So I was right about that, okay. So I guess we just got really lucky. Also, yo, level 10 links, holy crap. I didn't even realize. <laughs> level 10 links compared to my sad boot tanks. First of all, with no dupes. And, oh, never mind. Yo, I didn't know I put in that much work for my boot tanks. I don't remember ever grinding him, but I must have at some point, because otherwise he wouldn't be that close to maxed. Okay, that's cool. That is pretty freaking awesome. Um, Yeah, this is gonna be tough. 
This is gonna be very tough. I think we actually need to pop an item here. I mean, we're at full HP, so even if we get supered, it's probably not gonna be that bad. It's probably not gonna kill us, right? But what if it does? We're already like so deep in the event. It would be a shame if a super kills us. So I'm gonna pop the Princess Snake. Okay, just to be cautious, just to be extra safe. And we should be getting, there we go, a token attack is on the way. Unfortunately, I can't give it to the um, the Fat Boo, because if I you know put him in the first slot and then put like the, the Buff Boo in the second slot with all those attacks, it could be a bad time. I don't know how I missed that. I should not have missed that. I'm pretty sure I clicked on it. I, I'm pretty sure I did, but it's fine. It happens. Mm, at least we got a crit. At least we got a crit. All right, so some nice attack stats from uh, the Fat Boo here. Over 2 million. I think we got to like 2.8 with the support before. And yes, with the item type advantage, not really going to be an issue there. I, I feel like we would have been fine. Now we probably would have been fine without the item. I just didn't want to die, man. This deep into the rotation, or this deep into the event rather. And it would have sucked to have to like restart the recording. I just didn't want to do it, guys. I'll be honest, I just didn't want to do it. I've, yo, I've literally done videos where I got to the last boss, you know, like MUI Goku or whatever, and he had like literally half a bar of HP, and then I get cocky, and I get super and I die, and that was like, you know, 30 minutes down the drain, right? And I was super frustrated. Sometimes I just quit the video. I was like, you know what? It's not happening. This video is just not going out today. Um, so yeah, this one's going really, really well. You know, I'm really enjoying this run right now. So I did not want to end it prematurely. But basically we had to, you know, pop that item. All right, so Kid Buu should finish this. This should be the end of Buhan. And is there one more stage after this? Or is this the, oh, there's one more. All right, so who is it? Oh, Buff Boo. Oh, right, we still have a uh, Kid Boo, I believe. So two more stages. I'm pretty sure there's two more stages. Now, uh, let me think. Uh, let's put Fat Boo in the middle. He is definitely the tankiest of the three here. And this should be fine. I don't believe we need any kind of items or anything else, really. Um, yeah. Should be okay. I haven't done this stage in a really long time, so I don't exactly remember how hard everybody hits. But if I remember correctly, this stage wasn't too hard. It is the most recent Infinite Dragon Ball history stage, but it wasn't too bad, if I remember correctly. All right, yeah, he's, he's half dead. He's half dead, we're good. And it's a shame, it, it's really a shame that the Kid Buu isn't here right now because he would have absolutely annihilated the buff boo here right like we were waiting for a tech enemy and one finally comes and kid boo is in our rotation that's kind of sad by the way if you guys are curious about what i'm always drinking in my videos it's tea right like it's not like some people think it's like um some kind of adult beverage which I wouldn't drink on stream. Even if I did, I guess I wouldn't tell you guys, but it's not, it's just tea. I actually used to work for a tea company and I was never like a tea drinker, right? But uh, you know, after working there for a couple of years, I just kind of got in the habit. I mean, they gave me so much free tea that like I just had it around and I was like, might as well use it. You know, it's gonna go to waste otherwise. So I started drinking tea and ever since then, man, I've been a tea drinker. So uh, yeah, random story that nobody asked for. But, there you go. There you go. Okay. Um, man, I feel like we should be safe. I feel like we should be safe. I mean, if we get supered, if it's if it's on Fat Boo, we'll still be fine. Um, if it's on Kid Boo, maybe not so much. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's the super. So, yeah, we should be fine. 147. I can live with that. Now, I remember this Kid Buu dodges. He didn't dodge that one, but I remember he does dodge. 
so this could be pretty annoying. Yeah, 128. Okay, so this one lands too. You must not have a very high dodge stand. The dodge chance. His dodge chance must be like, I don't know, 30% maybe? I mean, it's not nearly as bad as like the uh, uh, MUI Goku stage or anything like, like that. Or maybe we just got lucky. May maybe we just got really lucky. You never know. Okay, um, yeah, I got nothing to worry about here. The, the LR boos are gonna do just fine. And then we have, you know, Buff Boo with the type of advantage, so he's gonna be okay too. We are gonna beat this kid Boo, you know what, with no items. I'm not gonna pop another item. I didn't even need to pop the first item. This could have totally been a no item run. But, once again, man, I just didn't want to go through the whole... <laughs> You know, dying late in the event and feeling all that despair and not wanting to put this video out. So for the purpose of this video, it's okay. Yo, this kid was pretty tanky. I thought we would hit harder there. And another additional. And you know what? Yo, has Kid Boo dodged a single time yet? I don't think he has. I don't think Kid Buu has actually dodged a single attack. Wait, was I wrong? Does he not dodge? Yo, he might not dodge. Maybe I was thinking about another stage. Cause if he does have a chance to dodge, wouldn't he have already dodged at this point? Right? Like we would have at least seen like one dodge, right? But he hasn't at all. So unless I'm getting really, really lucky in this run, which is a possibility, I guess. He doesn't dodge. I'm gonna have to go check on that. I remember seeing on the Dokkan Wiki that he does have a chance to dodge. But once again, it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> I swear he did though. I swear he did though. We must, we must just be getting super, super lucky. Yeah, what is happening? Oh! Oh, okay, so clearly he can, clearly he can, well, you know what, I could have just checked, right? I could have just checked here, I'm stupid. <laughs> Yo, I keep forgetting this is a feature, it's super useful, right? You guys should do this. They just hold on the enemy and you can see like all their skills and effects and stuff like that, right? I honestly just forgot, but um, either way, let's finish things off. He can dodge, but he didn't dodge like most of our attacks. And now we are going to kill him with the new Easy A Int Kid Boo. I was, as I was saying that, I was slightly worried that he would have dodged this attack and then like supered us. I mean, I don't think we would have died, but that would have been really bad still. All right, there we go, guys. Majin Boo Infinite Dragon Ball History complete with the Majin Power Team, and uh, this has got to be one of my favorite teams in the game right now. Now, some people have asked if the new Int Easy A Kid Boo is better than the Fizz Easy A Kid Boo, And I would say yes in every respect, of course, with the exception of support, right? Fizz Kid Boo is one of, if not the best support, just like purely from a support standpoint, is probably the best support unit in the entire game still. But he lacks defense, he lacks offense, so for damage and tanking purposes, even though he's still not a great tank, the Int Kid Boo is definitely the uh, superior Kid Boo. Now, hopefully, in like six to twelve months, we'll get an updated LR Kid Boo, who will just make this entire discussion irrelevant, right? But uh, guys, that is going to be today's video. There is your new and improved Majin Power Team on Global. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and. If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.